again, the big tone of what I've been talking about today is the switch. Now, next few days looking very nice, and we'll cover that as well. But I do think we need to dive into what's possible in the extended forecast. Temperatures near 50 inland, mid 50s elsewhere, San Luis. The actual airport sensor is broken, so we're using some proxy data right now, lower 60s here in San Luis. Otherwise, temperatures are awfully close to where we were 24 hours ago. The winds are weakly on shore. Next couple of days, no big changes here. 60s beaches, 70s coastal valleys near 70 inland, and regionally LA temperatures close to the mid 70s. Palm Springs, same story. Las Vegas, lower 60s. The capital looking at temperatures right around 60. The Bay and Monterey in the lower 60s. Getting through that quickly so we can get into this. Right now we sit in this quiet spot and this might be really important time for communities to prepare, for you to prepare around your house. If you have any roofing that needs to get done, the clock is ticking on stuff like this because the extended forecast, we knew rain on Sunday into Monday was something we were going to be dealing with. And there was another system on Wednesday. That all really didn't change. It's the intensity potential that went up quite a bit in the modeling today. And multiple runs are picking up on this. This is Sunday. Anywhere from Los Angeles to the Bay Area and Eureka, it's rainfall, locally heavy rainfall possible. And the rain continues into Monday. So you got a two day event there. And very little break on Tuesday before Wednesday, Thursday system, possibly into Friday as well. Then a little bit of break on Saturday and Christmas Eve, but a Christmas Day storm or a Tuesday storm definitely possible here. Imagine the travel difficulties here, and this is essentially the entire West Coast. This is well supplied with moisture all the way from the subtropic. That looks really, really wet, and so does this. This is another potential atmospheric river system around the 27th. And that's as far as our model takes us out. Now, granted, the further out in the model you go, the more speculative it gets. But this is pretty serious in terms of the amount of rainfall we could see through the 28th. If the model is right or even partially right, we're going to see inches of rain. And if this model is right, we could see up to eight inches of rain. It could get wetter. It could get less wet. These storm systems could go in different directions. So there's a lot of ifs and buts here. But again, I think you need to be ready for the potential. And the last system, I recall, everybody's like, Dave, where's the rain? Where's the rain? And ultimately, the models did really well. So in this case, I think we have to treat them seriously. I'll keep you up to date on the day to day flips and flops on these models here. But again, uh, the only thing that really changed today was the intensity, not actually the timing. So you here you can see the system getting put together, strong jet stream. And this was all sort of pre-signaled by a strong jet developing on the other side of the Pacific. And this is an El Nino year. And the reason we call it El Nino is because a lot of the effects happen right around Christmas. And this is almost exactly on schedule. So low to mid 60s again on Wednesday here. Not a lot of town to town difference. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly here. South Coast temperatures near 70 and the extended forecast gets fairly active. I talk about all of this in a story at KSBY.com right now.